Mike Minotti, this is GameSpeed.com, and we're playing Mario plus Rabbids from Ubisoft. Not Nintendo, but also Nintendo. No. It doesn't really feel like a Ubisoft game, though, does it? Um, I would say it does not. And actually, I'm going to bring up the game on my other monitor here so I can actually see it better. Um, I mean, there's no, there's no towers you climb up anyways. You're right. Uh, there's definitely been like Ubisoft XCOM clones before. Um, huh, I don't remember this. I didn't even realize this was... I, maybe my baby played my game while I wasn't looking. Um, <laughs> I can direct you through this. Don't yeah, I was, I was hoping you'd give me some pointers, but I guess I can get through this, this puzzle here. This is, a, this is a great place to start because you're not going to be fighting something until you get through this maze. Um, this, this, and this is all the gameplay right here. It's just mazes. It's the entire game. This is the weirdest. Yeah, so it's kind of this... Yeah, it's weird because they put all this uh, fancy graphics in it. It's a maze game. Oh, no. It's a tactics game. It's, it's great. Yeah. Move that over here a little bit. Um... I mean, it's it is it's XCOM. I mean, everyone was right when they said it's Mario XCOM. So, uh, I, I like I, I'm I'm into it. You've played more than I have, right? Like, I'm I'm like yes. in, still in like the first world. It's like one dash four or five or six or something like that. Right, you're kind of, you're still in the process of like kind of getting your all your abilities and stuff. Yeah, and, and all that. Uh, and the rabbits are prominently featured in this game. They are. There's no getting around it. Uh. I'm still not sure if I'm like sold on them being good. They they, they have toned them down a bit, which I appreciate. Like, they don't do that constant screaming thing. Yes, that that, that is a very good do, point. Right? I, was, I was like wondering what you meant by that, but that that's exactly true. I think if that's what people are worried about coming into the game with lots of screaming, uh, this is not gonna. That's not gonna be the thing that, that turns you off. I think that they've done a pretty good job of like nailing the humor of the rabbits, uh, especially in conjunction and contra uh, contrast, like, contrasting against Mario, anyhow. Sure. And playing Mario as the straight man. I, I think that's working pretty well. well there's, uh, no, there's no other way to make Mario funny than to have him be the straight man, right? That's why right. the other RPGs kind of depended on the side characters for that, or uh, specifically, like, most, a lot of the humor in, like, Mario and Luigi comes from making Luigi the butt of jokes. Yeah, like for that. sure. There's, and which, there's is still, which is still hot up. There's still a little bit of that here, too, yeah. I feel like I played this at E3, maybe. I don't remember because I like, vaguely remember it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not gonna that go for that. Secret. I'm not gonna go for the red circle. No, that takes a while, but this yeah. is a dead end too. I'm afraid. Oh, it is. No, check. You're already there now. No, I don't want to. Well, like, but I want to like that. Just got to. Oh, there we go. Okay. So sometimes in the world you can hit the A button, uh, and it'll give you a chance to like see what's going on around you, and it's always something like this. It's a little vignette. Little exactly. Funny yeah. thing. Um. But yes, yeah, so I mean, kind of like, what do you what do you think of it so far? You're right. This is I think it's really I think it's really cool. Um, you know, my big worry was that it would be like X comfort babies, and it's not that. It's it's actually still pretty challenging. Especially like, you're still kind of the earlier parts, so it's a little bit easier. But I mean, you yeah, know, there's, there's boss fights where you can't you can't just like get in cover and shoot things. There's, you have to use a lot of actual strategies. Go left there. There you go. Up and then left, then down. No, no, no down. Okay. Yeah. Don't go for the road. All right. Yeah. Cool. Um, man, you got a good memory. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. So yeah, it's not XCOM for babies, and we'll talk about that probably in this fight coming up pretty soon. Um. But like, how do you feel about like the world itself and the the? I, I mean, we talked about it a little bit, but the rabbits being in here and Mario beyond just the humor. Uh. It, are Are you like finding yourself compelled by the world at all? Well, it's 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 ultimately a Mario world. So yes. Uh. It's it looks really cool. I mean. HD Mario is still kind of a novelty in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. right? I mean, we had 3D World and like the Mario Kart games kind of give you that, but this is still like it's like wow, look how cool like this Mario stuff looks. Um, I, I don't know if this is really a world thing or just a design thing, but I really love how all of the battlefields are just kind of like part of the like overworld, right? Like yeah. But they're all connected by those things. like what you just saw like an area like that where there's maybe a puzzle or you're kind of walking through and then you c come across a battlefield and it's not like you're like loaded into like a separate area this is just like the next area and now you're fighting here and when you're done you can even just walk around here if you want to before moving on to the next place yeah for sure i mean it's yeah it's all interconnected you're right it's not random battles ever i'm glad that they um they, they made it feel like a living world even when you're uh, like going between the fights and then like exploring and stuff like that uh, but it's not uh, I don't know it's, it's it doesn't feel like too small or contained or, or anything it just feels kind of like yeah this this world that you're this is what you do you, you look around for stuff and then you get in fights and it's all just very interconnected and I like that a lot and they have done some things to make it simpler compared to X XCOM notably you only ever control three characters right on your party at least so far from me uh, which yeah, makes things a little bit more be, yeah. manageable and also like 
percentages, it's always either zero, 50, or 100. So mm -hmm. it's not like, you don't, which is kind of, kind of like you don't get that XCOM frustration of like a 95% chance to hit them and then it misses. Like, oh, yeah. Cool math. That's what I was going to say. It's not for babies. They just sort of. They simplify it and streamline, streamline a lot of these ideas so that you can just get in there and get really good tactical action and get out without having to learn all these very uh, like minute details about how every little thing works. It's like, you know, yeah, if you're, if you're behind a, a tall piece of cover, that, that's going to completely cover you. That's 100% chance that they're going to miss. If you're behind a half, like, a, like one of those ones that the rabbit's behind right there, where it's only up to his waist, that's 50%. And if you're not behind any cover or someone's able to flank you, then it's 0% chance that they're going to miss. It's, uh, it's just super simple. And... Uh, it, it still adds all the same elements of like uh, of what what you get from an XCOM when they're like oh there's a forty seven percent forty seven percent chance you're gonna miss, uh, but without having to get that frustration like you were saying. Right, and um, a lot of the complexity comes from your movement options every turn because like if you run into an enemy during while you're moving, you do damage to them. It's not a it's not like as much as shooting them. It's not a trivial amount of damage either. It could be a, a big help. And you can also extend your movement by jumping on an ally. Oh, jumping and, on uh, an ally. But even like just like this, like uh, I'm going to hit right. A on him. And now I can still I still have my complete full range of movement. I can go all the way back to where I went, went before. It's not using up like – Yeah, I'm not using up movement there, points. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's really neat. And then you can uh, – hit A. If Mario wasn't there, you can get behind that cover. So you can, even, you can even – Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, here. You like, yeah so like – this is going to be and like a huge one movement. of those. Right, like, yeah, you're doing so much in this one movement turn. Yeah, and then I'm going to shoot one of these guys down here. And I mean, this is, and you're still really early into this. You, There's at least two more action bar buttons that every character is going to get for you. Uh, and then you haven't even gotten the skill tree yet, I think, either. And that is a whole other thing. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, this is, I mean, I'm still early. I'm going to try to get through the rest of that stuff. Maybe we do another video later on. But, uh, I, I don't know. So far, I've really liked it. I'm still definitely in the... I, it feels like a big kind of like tutorial phase where they're just letting you learn every little thing slowly. I think they're expecting to get a lot of players who've never played this kind of game before, which is probably smart. Right. Uh, well, it reminds me of when I was like, you know, eight or whatever it was when Mario RPG came out, right? Like, I, I kind of knew about RPGs. I might have mm -hmm. played one here or there, but I was still not good at it. And Mario RPG was great because it, it eased you into it. It kind of put everything in that Mario framework that made it easier to understand but it was still an rpg it wasn't especially towards the end right it wasn't mm -hmm. like an rpg for babies necessarily in, in some ways it was simpler sure but you never felt like you were playing uh a kid's game yeah exactly i um the, the story seems very light like they're just kind of like letting right. you, like I, I, I can't tell me you're far you're further in they had like a little uh video intro at right the which was almost it was, it was interesting at first it was like the video was was it Rabbids or Mario at first? I was like, what is this? Right. And I, yeah. I don't know if it, I don't know if that's coming back or if that was just like okay. So you haven't, you haven't encountered it. Yeah, you've encountered no, it. I don't know of that if it was kind of just a hail mary framing device for trying to explain why the heck Mario's and Rabbids are right. Yeah, basically these worlds are, they're just like being mashed together when they're not supposed to be. And so even when you are are like okay out of sight, uh, even when you're like killing the enemies, you're not really killing them, Mike. You're helping them out. You're doing them a yeah, favor. You're, you're sending them back to their own dimension. Right. Right, it's it's all good. Yeah. Well, actually, you're sending them back to Peach's castle. That's right. Them. Okay, and then yeah, she's gonna love them. That's right. At some point, yeah. That'll, that'll be better. Oh, you're gonna get that guy and shoot him. Yep. I like when you shoot somebody, you're like right around the corner from them. Just think about it, this seems cruel to me. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, pow. <laughs> Critical <laughs> and honey. Yeah, like the status effects are interesting in this game because it's not like. Or like the status effects and the elements, it's not like there's fire and ice. There's like honey, mm -hmm. ink, bouncy, <laughs> things like that. I think that's great though. It's a really um, adds variety to this uh, genre. Right, and you, you'll you'll come across some enemies later that are like uh, big bruiser types. That like anytime you hit them, they're gonna come towards you. If they get close to you, they do a ton of damage. It's like the strategy kind of becomes like juggling them because they only have melee damage. So it's like juggling them between two characters, making sure they're never quite close enough to actually hit you. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do, you have, do you have Mario's ability where he kind of hits somebody who like starts moving when it's not his action turn? I do. I used it on our, my first turn here, and he didn't. Uh, I don't. I, it right. must, no one must have ran, ran in front of me, which is the first time that's happened. So it's just like Overwatch, right? In a in XCOM, where you like set your character into Overwatch mode, so that if someone does come across to you, uh, you could fire at him. And it even goes like in slow motion and everything. It's really mm -hmm. great. I'm that's hoping a, I get that's it again, a pretty helpful move. Like one of my one of like the earlier skill tree things I'm doing is things that kind of 
reduce the cooldown on that because if you use it once, you can't use it for another three turns. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, that's uh, cool. Things like that. Because yeah, again, like that one enemy I was talking about, like when you hit him, he'll start moving. Well, you can set up your the uh, your that glare thing before that shoot them when they start moving. Then you get another shot on them. Basically, it's really neat. Um, you have, a, have you done any of the boss fights yet? I don't think so. Yeah, I think, think so. I think you're pretty close to the first like mid boss, but the boss fights are all uh, really cool so far. They're very like specific strategies, um, and stuff then, like that, unique it, enemies. Yeah, and it, it what it does after the fight, it just kind of says like how many turns it took you to complete it, and it like ranks you if you did a. Uh, under the amount of turns that it wants you to do it in, like there it was six, I did it in four. It's like, oh, perfect. I'm not sure. Is that getting me like more loot or something? More, more That's currency? getting you more coins, which okay. is very important because yeah. really one of the big progression things in this game is just getting better weapons, and it can be expensive. So right. you get a lot. I mean, you get a oh, lot sweet. of coins. So yeah, your performance is based on. Uh... Oh look. Yep. Oh, there wasn't a no cutscenes clause in the embargo. No, there. It, I think it's just the first two worlds is all we can show, and that's all it all it says. It's this little cute bunny guy. I wish all the rabbits looked like him. He looks more appealing to me. Yeah, I think they probably got notes saying you have to make at least one cute one so the players will care about him. I think it's that Homer Simpson mouth that like confuses me on all the other bunnies. Yeah, yeah, they all look like they need to shave. Can you believe that the rabbits were originally a radiant thing? <laughs> I know. I, I It's so weird that the, the trajectory that this property has taken from, yeah, a, a Rayman side character to this. Right. All right, here we go. First, first mid boss. Cool. It's always got to be a PD Piranha. This is pretty challenging. I'm kind of curious to see how you do here. Cool. It's, uh, give me, like, a heal throw, this fireball thing does a lot of damage, a lot of area of effect stuff, so. You're saying that the, the, uh, the hitting those fireball boxes, is that what you said? You broke up a little bit. No, he will. I'm sorry, yeah. So PD Piranha over there, he can do a range attack that does an AOE fire thing. Okay, so, all right. So you know, we want to group up at the very least. Okay, all right. So let's but, see I, I, I get, Getting high ground is important in this game because it gives you a bonus to um, damage. Okay, well, that's good to know. I think they just were explaining that last round, and I wasn't paying too close attention. Well, I'm here to tell you. Yep. That's why I brought you on, Mike. Know things. That's what I do. I play Mega Man and I know things. <laughs> Pale. Uh, let's use her. Let's just go ahead and use it. Yeah, so her one cooldown is a defense thing that makes her take a lot less damage. So you can kind of front line with her a bit when right. she has that on cooldown. Later on, she gets a heal, which is pretty useful as you can imagine. It doesn't heal a ton. That's kind of the other thing, too, about like these levels is like. Sometimes you have to do two fights in a row without like getting all your HP healed up automatically. Are you gonna get hit by that fire block, or do you have to be right next to it? I don't know yet. I think it's my first time seeing fire blocks. I saw another one of so yeah, those are things like we can hit it, or the enemy team can hit it, and it explodes and it hurts people standing next to it. Uh, but I, I wasn't able to find out if it was one block or two blocks you had to be away. Well, you probably you. You shoot that guy up there right now. Even yeah. though it's zero percent, you're gonna hit. Yeah, the totally, block exactly. Gonna, yep. It's a bounce block. I think it's gonna bounce him around or something. Right. Push. push. All right, so I can uh... get him up on that that pipe and get him up there. Oh yeah, the pipe's right there. Cool. Oop. I always forget you have to hit A in front of it. Yeah, you have to like, hit A in front of it. Yeah. To take his old spot. That's good enough. So yeah, now enemy's turn. I can uh, hit Y to like fast forward, but it, this is the Overwatch mode thing. right there. Oh. I like I like that a lot. That's a very oh, he's behind a cool explosive. Over you can hit that. Yeah. Do some damage on it. I'm glad fire so, still hurts, uh, the, even though he's got like seems to have fire power. All right, cool. I don't think there's. I don't. I don't. I this think is what it looks like when it's fast forwarding. Just to let people know. Right. I think people have at least so far they they have. Like strength, but I don't think they have like resistances. Okay. Anyways, so that's maybe. again. I think that's just. I mean, that's a. I think a smart, simple design design decision. It keeps things nice and clean. All right. Or somebody just be making that up. Lots of lots of enemies up here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Hiding behind the pipe is pretty nice because I don't think they can destroy the pipes like they yeah, can the other. Yeah, but can I like? But I'm not. I'm, well, if you go over there, I'm just yeah. going to be right next to that other exactly. guy. So, yeah. kind of 
Oh, you could go behind the 50% block. I mean, it's not awful. Something. Yeah, for sure. Let's go there. I should be able to still hit him, I think. Yeah, you can hit him. I think. It's hard to tell if that pipe's in the way. No, okay. Yeah, it's a 0%. Damn it. That sucks. Yep, that was a waste. Oh, well. All right, so let's see here. Get a look at the uh, battleground. Bunch of them over there. So yeah, we'll probably just yeah, you definitely want to you definitely want to hit that exploding. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this turn before he moves away from the. Yeah, she'll get a shot here. There we go. Very cool. Now, also in this fight, if you kill people on it, it ends the fight. You don't necessarily need to kill everybody, but uh, you know, obviously, it helps. Yeah. Okay. You, you just have to focus on. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it's a little rough. Like sometimes you do kind of have to suck it up a little bit and maybe get into a position that isn't going to give you a shot, but you like keep you safe around. Now you expose him, but now he's free. Mm -hmm. He's free. Ooh. I don't like where he is. Peach is taking some damage. Yeah, she's taking a lot. Oh. She might go down. So, yeah, like you say, like, this isn't like. This isn't trivial. This is you, exactly this is, yeah. Things are going on here. Obviously, it's probably not helping that we're we're talking to you, making trying to make you do a video on the game's like first real hard fight, but yeah, but it, it's still interesting. So I'm glad we're doing it. But hopefully, hopefully I can get out. That's gonna be tough. He's still got a ton of health. Yeah, like losing a teammate is pretty is pretty rough. Yeah, because because you only have three people. Yeah, let me see. I think if you were to start over, I think I would. Try to get people on higher ground sooner, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if that would come with. That might make a difference, actually, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, I would or, would have already done a lot more bonus damage. Let's see. Although he can, oh, he can kill him and maybe get in a position to shoot at uh, that guy. Maybe. Can I? Can I do two hits? Oh, you know what? No. But I can't. No, you can't. Uh, you, that's a skill tree for at least one of the characters at some point that they can do two in a turn, but not right now. Also, if you when you go on the spot, it'll like if you highlight the spot when you're moving it. And I should have brought this up last time. It'll tell you what your percentage of hitting everybody. Yeah, is. I just I just realized it, it said zero percent right before I like when I was right. putting him down. I just didn't con like I didn't actually process that. Yikes. Ooh, yeah. He does some damage. Yeah. Goodbye, Mario. I mean, if you just focus on him, maybe you can just yeah, burn him down before he gets maybe. you. I don't know. Let's see. Can I get to higher ground? I wonder if I could still hit him from up there. He might be too far away. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's probably going to be too far. Probably. If you can't even like see them yeah. to see the percentage. Oh, damn it. That's not probably what I to do. Oh, good. Excellent positioning. Yeah, I meant to, like, hit B, but I forgot B is different on the Nintendo controller. Oh, I gotta use that. Well, that protects you against the fire, at least, so he shoots him. Alright, I think I'm okay here. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, yep. It's like this fight, you're at least still... Uh, basically shooting like at an enemy or like the, the, the boss of this world is pretty interesting because it's like re pretty unique strategy you have to yeah to I, I, I think that's way that like we were saying the rules here are pretty simple like you move you shoot you, you always understand the percentages but I guess that they mix things up by giving you different objectives and different kinds of enemies different, uh, different, yeah enemies uh, variety seems to be one of the big shaking I think that's up. a interesting way of doing things Can't get be able to run on him. Too bad you can't get into that pipe. I know it's a bummer. Be pretty good. I mean, you might just be able to burn this guy down. Oh, you could put on the steely glare too. So as soon as he moves again, they're dead. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was a good turn. The problem is, if one of the rabbits moves first, you'll shoot them. Are there any rabbits left? Did you get them I, all? I think there are some. I thought there were. Oh shit! Oh, critical! Yeah, he does a lot of criticals. Yeah, oh, man, you're 
Oh, is that going to get Mario? Oh, he is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Mario's oh, oh it's, it's a little bit left. He's got five. He's oh, got wow. Five no way. Eight. Okay. This is big. This is big. All right. So just, so let's see. I like, think. Put him wherever. Yeah. And get a shot off, and you're fine. There you go. And I upgraded Mario's gun, so it's a little bit more powerful. Yeah, it's one of the ones you want to upgrade right away. Uh, yeah, you definitely need to go in that big pipe. And um, can you, if you get behind the pipe, can you still shoot at him? No, see if you can. Well, see if you can stay, but no, too late now. Yep, too late. Oh, this is gonna get him. Yep, he only had 18 left, and I was like, yeah. Uh, okay. That gave me the big Not X. It. So there was, a, yeah, there's yeah. like a little X there. It says it's like fine. you're gonna kill the guy. So. It was the same thing for me. This was the first fight where I actually lost a party member during mm -hmm. it. She likes taking selfies. That's a, that's that, a really that's thing, joke yeah. here. That's her thing. Very, very clever humor. I don't know. I, I'm finding it. I'm finding some of the stuff charming. They're not. I don't. Yeah, the rabbits aren't necessarily great. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> this game is all about guns and violence. I love it. That's it. Exactly. Ah, so I healed him too? All right. Oh, he's better now. Petey Piranha's happier. Everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, Petey Piranha's like, my brain. Get him out of Mario, my brain. Mario getting into that selfie. Hey, it's Luigi. Yeah, cool. So Luigi shows up. He, uh, he hasn't been a party member for me up to this point. Right, yep. So now you can... Uh, which I did. I replaced uh, Rabbit Luigi with real Luigi. Why they like uh, Luigi better? Oh, here we go. Making fun of Luigi, the classic. Mm-hmm. Lou Ellen. I blew Ellen now. <laughs> cool. So I did. I did okay there. You did okay. You lost a person. If you didn't lose a person, you have gotten perfect. Right. But still got some coins. And I say like it is like it is actually pretty important. It's like one of the reasons why. Yeah. I mean, you can't really grind for coins necessarily. I think they, they like re show up again on the world map where they were, but that might take a while to like. Going out. Oh, you got the skill tree. Cool. All right, now cool. Yeah, that. yeah. We'll take a look at that. That'll be a good. Good way to maybe end out the video. Yeah, you have team fights now. Yeah, it is something that's kind of weird. Just like after the mid boss, like you unlock all these things. It's a little ungraceful. Yeah. Like, like uh, you probably. I don't know if you've seen like there's blocks you can't push yet. Yes, I do see like, that. Blocking off areas. I was like, oh, I wonder how I get that. And like after I beat a boss, it's like you can push blocks now. Like, <laughs> yeah, the presentation <laughs> okay. seems a bit. It just does. It seems a little bit lesser than uh, some other games. I don't know. I, it's not bad. None of this is bad. It's just... It just, no, it's just like seems... some, something, some things is like a little bit... I don't know if fair is the word, but... Uh, yeah. Just... But even this menu here, it's pretty... It, it's a menu. Yeah, it's it's kind of minimalistic. Yeah. Some of it looks like programmer art, but I mean, maybe it's been spruced up a little bit, but not fully replaced by an art team or something like that. All right, so here's a skill tree. Tell me what to do, Mike. Where should, where should I go first? Uh, well, you want to get... So... <sighs> Like what's uh, what's technique? Like uh, what, like what's in technique? So this so the the red one and the green one are gonna open up new actual action bar items for you. Okay. So they're they're pretty good to get uh, at some point here. Uh, the Mario's hammer is not as useful as some of the other ones. But I mean, it's pretty. It's when you're right next to somebody, you can do more damage than them if you have the hammer. The problem is, like the guns, you need to keep buying better hammers and money. It's oh. kind of short, so a lot of times you'd rather buy a gun than a hammer. Right. It's not bad, but again, it's like you're, you're getting yourself right next to a person, so you better be finishing them off with it. Um, I think uh, this, this power seems yeah. pretty good. Yeah, but you need more points to activate that. What's the oh, uh, yeah, oh, the jump? Right. The jump. You, I think you want the jump thing. Take a look at that. The, okay. the yellow one. An attack at, uh, an attack at an enemy's... What do I, why is it written like that? In attack at an enemy's head following a team jump. Afterwards, Mario lands on nearby cell. So you can actually jump onto an enemy from the team jump. Yeah, that's cool. That's perfect. That, that's a pretty decent amount of damage. So yeah, that's pretty cool. classic stuff. So each you of my characters have ten points. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, you you want to get her a heal. All right, so that's down oop, down here. Restore health uh, points to all heroes in range. That sounds very you need good. Twenty, but you need to save oh, up for yeah, that. That's right. Okay. But Luigi, you can get his little exploding cart thing. Or. Well, this is, uh, he has, I haven't, I haven't even used him since I got the right, skill okay. so I don't even know what his stuff is, but Luigi has this thing, it's pretty good. It's kind of like thing where you target, have... it will detonate when it's, when it gets close, can be destroyed. Basically, it's like, it's like a seeker kind of missile kind of thing, like it, it kind of rolls along, it does a decent amount of damage, um, it has a little cooldown, but it's pretty good, especially if an enemy is behind like some cover you can't maybe get to otherwise, or you need a little bit extra damage to kill somebody, I, I like it. Cool. Uh, weapon selection. I wonder if I 
Yeah, it's the oh, one plenty of menu. That's like the thing though. It's like because you're always just like just around maybe unlocking the next tier and you right. can't sell your weapons. So like when you waste money on like don't even get these. Wait till you get the weapons that are gonna increase damage again. Okay. Like, it's just like, right, right. You, like a honey chance. Like I don't know. It doesn't seem worth it to me. No, I think you might be right. Um. So. So that's this, important. Like. Like so this, this one, one down here. Quick... This one. This, this one seems really good. That's actual. Make sure there's nothing to the right of it. Oh, there is. Wow. Yep. Oh, it's good that they're all kind of the same price, though, at least. So it's not like you have to spend more yeah, money and wait longer no. and have to spend your money on other stuff. Now, see, like, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure, like, is Bouncy worth it or is Honey worth it? <laughs> like, yeah. Bouncy, Bouncy has a chance of throwing them, like, kind of further away from you, but sometimes that kind of messes you up. Honey puts them in place, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I think that might be what I want. And, yeah, so I'm going to go with that. Yes, please. And then let's see. I'm going to get Luigi something. Or is this not good enough yet? Yeah, because it's kind of... It's, it's, like, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's kind of... Like same damage. Basically, basically, it's the same damage with a 30% crit chance on each one. Okay. Uh, that your other one doesn't have. Is that worth 550 gold when, I mean, there's not much of it to go around? I don't know. Especially at some point here, you're probably going to unlock more stuff. So That's kind of something I wish I was better at at first, because at first I was just kind of going nuts on it. Like, you can right. give Rabid Luigi one that just straight up increases his damage, but... If you're gonna, gonna use Rabbit Luigi, I don't know. Oh no, you need. I tell you, yeah, for one thing, I'm sure right now is that you need a Peach. Cause yeah, no, I, yeah, I definitely wanted her. I was like, thought I was, I was selecting which teams, um, team members to swap out. All right, let's uh, let's back out. Let's go see if we can find another easier battle. That's just gonna happen real quick. Yeah, Luigi has uh kind of less health, so you need to kind of keep in the uh, but he does pretty good damage, so. Kind of to keep him a little further away though sometimes to keep him protected. What are those silly rabbits up to? Yeah, let me see him. Oh, there they are. Oh, you guys. With your buns in the air. Go back to the Rayman minigame collection you came from. <laughs> Leave Mario alone. <laughs> you can just run through this. I don't think you can even... Yeah, well, I think you could maybe do it, but you can always come back to it. Yeah, it looks like one of the buttons is hiding behind something, a button that I don't have. I don't think I have I think the either. first time I did this, or I was through here, I didn't think I could do it, so I just left, and I just kind of missed it. Like you could yeah. do this right now. Like you yeah, know, well, let's, see. let's see if we can, maybe. Here we go, one of these. Yep, these can Oh yeah, these are like the mini game cannons. Which ones? Kind of just collect all the coins. That's right. Yeah. Out. Yeah. So I guess I mean we could talk about this. Like, I'm not controlling Mario. I'm controlling the little robot Beepo right in front of him. Do I want to go? It's here? confusing as hell at first because like you're trying because like if Mario yeah. runs over the coins, you don't actually get them. Exactly. And, like you're, you're focusing on Mario. It's like Mario coins, get them. Yeah, but you have so, to get them with the little robot, the ro little Roomba. So yeah, I was very confused for a while. I'm like, okay, now that makes sense now, I guess. But every time I pick it up again, I I think I have to relearn that for a moment because I forget. So you know, lost some new weapons or a weapon here. So I guess uh, I mean, last things. I mean, is this uh, kind of a big Switch game? Is it a reason to get the Switch? Is it? I mean, I guess not not in terms of review, but like how like just in terms of these first two worlds. Are they something that are making you feel like, oh yeah, this is another reason to have this cool system? It's cool, I could play it anywhere. I, what are you thinking? Yeah, I think so. I think like like just the idea of having an like you know we have tactics games on the 3DS or great yeah, like Fireball, but it's so cool that like you can put this on your TV and it looks like kind of how you would expect like a Mario version of XCOM to look on whatever the new Mario system is. But you can also like just take that in bed and have the same exact experience and like play a round or two there. It's really neat. Yeah, I've really liked it. It's just, a very uh, good showcase of the Switch, I think. Yes, I think so too. I just I've liked having it with me like when I have ten minutes here or there. Uh the game I think is still pretty well made for that sort of pick up and play for a few minutes action. Uh you don't have to dedicate hours to it or anything like that. It it works like a good portable tactics game. And I think that the, the simple the simplicity of the combat and uh, and all that stuff helps with that. It keeps it so that you can uh you can enjoy it in small chunks. Typical shot. I, I wish that, I wish you could like mod those kinds of voices in here. Like, <laughs> right. Make, a, make a very serious military game. Yeah, because Luigi basically has that same ability, but it's called like Steely Glare. It's like a callback to the Mario Kart thing. Oh yeah! Wow, that's pretty clever. Uh, weapon damage reduction. I think I'll wait. Yeah, I think you're okay. Yeah. Oh, looks like he's got pretty good movement. Right, they're pretty good movement, uh, but not much HP. No. But I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna put him up front. Doesn't look like there's a lot. Well, of if you put a stilly glare on, you'll be okay, even if you miss here. 
Oh, so that's 100%, so may as well use it. You can see how it works, too. That's really cool. Yeah, it does damage some of the cover around you, but we're okay. That's neat. Well, what's the range on that? Did, did I, would I have to be close for that? You know, it's no, it's pretty long range, but it's like something, I don't quite get it yet, but if they can see it coming, they'll shoot it and it like won't work, and it'll let you know before you try to do it. So it has some limitations. It also has a cooldown, so you can't use right. it very next. Right, right. Ooh. Yeah, man. That guy. percent not good enough. They got the the high ground and sort of surprised me. I guess I shouldn't have put him way up front. Well, I'm glad that worked out. Right. Uh, you can yeah. run him back to uh, Peach and have her heal and then, right. then have Peach move up. Oh, you can even run into him first. With uh, Luigi, get him back to cover, maybe to Pete. Yeah, I think you're right. Get healed. Hit this far one. So I just need to be next to her, right? Yeah, she'll, she'll, they'll show you the area of effect. It's not very big, right. but you'll be fine. You can do any of these things out of order. Like You can start with her heal and then have her move and then shoot or shoot, heal, move, move, shoot, heal. You know, it's... All these different things. Oh, you never got the heal. That's right. Yeah, man, I was like thinking. Like, <laughs> you didn't afford it. Maybe her ability doesn't. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, That's fine. Yeah, we I couldn't will... afford the heal yet. That's right. Yeah. This is going to hit anyway, so. Yep. Yeah, that's a cool gun. Yeah, it looks like the vacuum. All right, exactly. All right. These guys are still up here. Mm -hmm. So you, you can get more behind that big block. Just kind of wait them out a little. Yeah. Yep. And then bring her up here. I think she should be able to hit them. Yeah. No, maybe not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. I got the cover. Yeah. I mean, the problem is one of those might kill the cover, then this one might have a clean shot on her. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, it's got a little bit left. Yeah, I thought I, I thought it was not quite all the way taken down in terms of, in terms of damage. You know you can collect those coins with a... Yeah, just by hovering over them. Yeah, it's a yeah. thing. Like, that's really cool. You don't have to, like, actually run your characters you over them. You can go right. up the pipe now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do exactly that. Clear out that one right there, maybe, yeah. and then uh, move on to the other ones a little... Again, though, can you get behind the pipe? That's what I'm doing. Hey, hey, hey. That's what I'm going for. Pow! And I should be able to shoot him no problem. Hey, and honey. All right. Cool. Oh, he's stuck. He can't yeah. shoot you now. Okay, so let's. Um, I'll take her up there too. Oh, she might be able to finish that guy off. Right. That's what. This one tells you that they're gonna kill him. Pretty. Oh, uh, the jumping is really neat. That's like such yeah. a cool movement thing. Yeah, but I, re I really like this. It's not—it doesn't limit you in a lot of uh, ways that force you into complicated scenarios where you have to figure out, oh man, I can only do certain things on this move. What am I going to choose to do? It, it forces you to think in other ways, like creatively in other ways, which is—I think I think that, that's the way it's going to separate itself from something like XCOM. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's just super fun. Yep, absolutely. Finish up this fight. Yeah. Turn on that steely glare. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Maybe Maybe I keep can, him back there. I think I'm going to just keep him here. Yeah, this might be the best spot for him already. So, yeah, I could just uh, activate Steely Glare. Holy Stare. Luigi Death Stare. Okay. Wait, can that. Re a classic. Uh, he can reach out. I think he has pretty good uh, yeah. gun range. Yeah, it's like a sniper rifle. Kind of like your sniper. He's yeah. kind of like your glass cannon. Totally. All right, I think. She can't hit anybody, right? So yeah, let's just go ahead and end this. Mario doesn't have anything. All right. And of course, you can move up the enemy turn if you wanted to. Oh, I don't think so. That was awesome too. It's just—it's really cool. Like you start to really, like, really understand the battlefield and like how you can uh, take on mm -hmm. these enemies even when they're this far away and that. All right. Like, and you're still, them. I mean, the tutorial phase isn't that long, even though like you're still learning some things here. I mean, this is a full-on fight. It's not like right. Oh yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, it's, it, it's not, and it's not like every turn. It's like stop, listen to this. No, yeah, it's you. not. It, it's, it's it's teaching you through the gameplay. It's letting you figure stuff out on your own. I'm really appreciating that. So now, can I? 
Where's uh, Peach at? Can I know, you, yeah, it's, I was just thinking that. I don't know just if you can wait. make that jump. Maybe you can. You may I'd be able to jump on him instead of slide on him, is what I'm saying. Oh, he's just out of range. Damn, that's that stinks. Oh, oh well. Well, you can I'll move, shoot him. I mean, well, you can do Peach's turn first and move her up a little bit. That's true. Oh, well. Oh, you can, I don't think you can slide and jump on them anyways. Oh, okay. I guess that, that would make sense. All right, now I can put her here. Is, that, is you really have to kind of think about movement that way, like moving one character up and right. then some of the other one jump on them and getting it further up, or you, you don't want your characters maybe, you want them to like to not be too far away from each other so they can do the jumping thing, but you don't want them to like be cluttered up together because a lot of characters have attacks that'll yeah, and I think a big part of that is just like making sure you do understand the uh, the, the the battleground and the camera, and be able to like realize and like you need to like know where everyone is in relationship to each other, and actually pan with the camera so you can figure that out. Um, but yeah, it's it's starting to work for me, so oh, I, I can probably move him now. Uh, this fight's probably gonna end next turn. Yeah. You punk! Hitting my beautiful rabid princess. Kill him. The punishment is death. <laughs> Sniper shot. That was cool. So yeah, I'm I'm digging it so far. Uh, at least through these first two worlds. Uh, no mention of anything beyond that. But it's yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm glad they made it. I'm glad it's out already. Uh, it, it seems like a kind of game that I'm just going to play in chunks. It's cool. I will say it's cool because it almost doesn't feel like a year one game for a system, you know? Yeah, you're right. It's, it's like that the Switch is getting something like this. Uh, so we're like, like the Switch has had a pretty good software lineup so far. And it's only been out, you know, uh, what, five months now or something like that. And yeah, this is just like another really cool game to play on it. Yeah, it feels like the kind of game that they would announce like several years later as a um, as something like that would surprise people at E3, not just sort of. At the, to kick off the system. Although I guess it's been in production for a long time, so so maybe that's why that explains that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. cool stuff. We're going to end the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Mario and Rabbids, it, it's out, I think, in a couple of days, right? It's in, uh, next week, maybe? I don't know. Uh, 29th or something like that. That sounds right. It's the 25th, but it's a Friday. Most of the, so I guess that's next Tuesday. All right, that makes sense. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. More on GameSpeed.com. Mike's doing the review, I believe, and we'll have that up soon as well. So keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.